I finally have finished. So today I'm going to do a flip through of the little micro glue book. Um, it was a little challenge um, sent to me by Aaliyah and um, she created this really small, um, tiny, tiny book that is so fat now. <laughs> it's a good thing she has a long ribbon on it. But um, so anyway, the challenge was to take this little micro book and create pages in it and see what I could come up with. So, um, I've been going through all my boxes and um, bins, all of that, looking for tiny, tiny <laughs> little images and things like that. So this is what we have. So the book is like a one and three quarter by like one and a quarter. So it's really tiny and it has been a challenge to work so small uh in something so here is introducing little maggie may the micro mini glue book and definitely it it is so all right so this one i didn't want to put too much on the back of the page she wrote on so um i had that little quote out and i just put it on there so why limit happy to an hour and then this little page she did and she sent it to me um to kind of give me the the idea of that's what I'm supposed to be doing so um, um, and then some of these yeah I need to glue that one back I created on a little square piece of paper and then put it into the book so here um, since I love to do surreal collages I wanted to try to do a little mini one on here and so I just cut the window in the car and then put the little kitty in there and with his face in the crooked uh, road sign I thought that all went well together this one is first class. I think you saw that one in the first video. And then this one was just a little retro doll kind of guy. Um, and I put him in an old TV and it had, um, it was just a page of kind of retro um, signs and things like that. So I put that on there. And then this one is vintage clothing with the two cat heads on there. So I thought that, um, thought that was cute. Here I had to put a Halloween one in there since we're getting close to Halloween. Um, little 31 is here. This is one of a kind little flamingo there in the back. And <laughs> this one says you. And when I was doing this page, the ink from the flamingo came through and that was sitting on the desk. So I'm like, let me grab that and make something with that. So this one I still think when I see it, it's one of my favorites little bug there it says handle with care and then this one is a little seahorse and starfish this one just says hello and has a little bubble sticker here just because I liked the paper so I cut that part out and this one says life is full of beauty and um, it's a Tim Holtz character and I did color her dress but it kind of I guess it's faded while being in the book so um, maybe I'll go back and touch that up Here's a little fall page. Um, I thought those were stuck together. So this is one of my favorites also. He's made to kind of be um, a little 3D and stick out, but he gets squished here in the book. So um, but anyway, it's supposed to look like he's coming out of the frame. And then this one was the one I just found that was blank. So um, just did the same little car idea and then I put a deer on this one and she's headed to Beverly Hills and then this one is in the garden and these are just small little ephemera pieces back different types of paper and this one I know if you see up close um, when I rubbed it I kind of rubbed the paper off so I kind of messed up that just a little bit but the more I try to fix it the worse it gets so um, we're just gonna leave that one <laughs> And here's just a little, um, they're not real stamps. They were just ephemera that I had. And I layered those there and put smile because I had that stamped on a piece of paper already. And then this was part of an image that I cut out. Don't even know what it came out of. And then um, the loveliest things because it looks like she's looking at a flower or something like that. Pretty. So, and then this is just a a card that I have that has different tags on it you can you can cut them out and so I just put some lace on there and it says believe and then this was on an old envelope uh, if you saw 
one of my haul videos, I got a box of old stamps and this was already written on there. So this was the stamp and it already had airmail written here and I just kind of wanted to save that. So I um, just added an airmail tag to it as well. This one is um, in the back is a baby wipe that I use when I'm inking and so when I let those dry so I can use them. And so that's in the background with the butterfly. And this right here came from one of the old stamps as well, but it actually said always use zip code. So I tried to just cut out the always us. These are little life cards that I have had for a long, long time. And if I can get that right side up. So I just cut out the corner piece that had this on it. It also had this on the card. And so I just cut it out and put it here. Just thought it was pretty. And then this is some fabric that I have from Dollar Tree. And it was the little blue truck with the pumpkins. And then I had some dictionary paper sitting on the table with me. And it had Dole on there. And so I know Dole is usually on our bananas. But I thought I needed a company name for the truck. So I just cut out the Dole and put that on there. And, oh, going this way. And so here I have a little tiny tag, probably stuck on the glue. <laughs> there it goes. And so I just made a little pocket. Yes, stuck. And I hadn't decided what to write on there yet, so I just put it inside there. And then, <laughs> this little book has just gotten so fat. Here's just some Tim Holtz um, stickers. And then this was, I think, out of a magazine or something. And I just stuck that across the middle there. And then this, I just made like a little, I cut off a piece of a life card and put that on there. And it stuck. And I just put a note on there that this has been so fun. And then put the date. And then this, the little piano keys, the butterflies. It says Grace Notes, Soft and Sweet. This page right here and the back is some embossed paper that I had. It ended up looking like old wallpaper and I had inked it. So that was in my scrap pile. This was the top layer of a sticker and then I just cut out these mushrooms and put them here on the bottom. And this one it's just to let her know that I have loved this little challenge. Um, this was fabric that I had and I had uh, stamped on it. And again, that was in my little scrap pile there. So the little book looks nothing like it did <laughs> when I got it. It was flat and had the papers in there. And I tried to keep them each page as flat as I could. But it's really hard when you're... Um, creating different pages and you know I'd find like the puffy stickers that were so cute so I was going along pretty well but then the more I added then the little book just got <laughs> so fat but it has been really fun to do and so if you need a little side project you should make yourself a little mini book and see how you do with just a little images because it sounds easy um but you know finding things that are small enough that's why some of the pages are turned sideways because you know I wanted to use whatever it was but um it didn't fit a lot of the butterflies didn't fit this way so it just turned them on their side so thank you Aaliyah it has been super fun to do this and um I appreciate you sending it to me. I hope that I did it some kind of justice. Um, anyway, there it is. I'm going to send it back to Aaliyah so she can look at it all up close and uh, have a little keepsake of um, the whole little challenge thing. And I, there's a little flip through. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed following along with the challenge. And again, thanks to Aaliyah for sending it to me. I'll see you guys in the next video.